okay the next part is uh, actually filling filling this stuff in and it's gonna be really really slow and really annoying <coughs> so the first what you have to do is stand it like this stand it up like this you see since we don't have all the fancy fancy tools like the Dell has in the manufacturing factories they you what you what you they're using is special pump plus the water uh, sorry the antifreeze in it you just scroll it over or just put it over this nozzle here press the button and it's all full the computer tells them that it's full and it's not right but they own technique right because they're on fault because they're on manufacturing technique right this pump is dead and so uh, I checked Dell, I checked other websites, every, every, every single of them has the very same problem, they blown, a pump is blown, air, air somehow get in, and uh, the pump's contact sweat. Why? It's because Dell is blowing air inside and there cannot be any air inside. Maybe a small little, a small bubble, uh, I mean a small bubble which can float on top of this uh, condenser here okay that would not matter that much or even this one in, in reserve but those guys are actually putting an air inside with, by the force and it's, it's not escaping anywhere so anyway the first thing we're gonna be filling up this one right with uh, with this refill bottle you should you should be better off getting it if you can't afford this kind of bottle and you're going to be using a different coolant or maybe a half bottle which doesn't come with a fill up bottle what you can do is get yourself a coca-cola bottle 0 0.5 liters or sprite or fanta which is a plastic bottle i don't have any at the moment but actually any any kind of plastic bottle will do for you this kind of any 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 and um, the next thing is you, you drill a little hole in here on the, on the top right you take your pan unscrew it and take the and take the the plastic part plastic outer part and just stick it in the way my pipe here is it's gonna be stiff and it's gonna be straight but it's gonna do the work anyway okay so what do we do here is We're gonna put this this thing here as far as we can, okay? And then when we fill it up, uh, the liquid's going down, okay? Eventually it's going up because it's gonna be clogging against the condenser there. So what we have to do then is take carefully this stuff out and it blow inside there, okay? To get the stuff all the way down there. I'd say the good idea would be to use the screwdriver to press the black button there to open the air, some of the air, escape, air for, for the air to escape. So when the stuff goes, goes down, it's coming out here. That will that'll help flow a lot and it will shorten the time. And the same goes with the other part. But this is going to be really hard and, and really slow one the very same stuff put this stuff in fill it in and take it out and blow inside until you get the whole stuff full be careful because the stuff is poisonous and it's a toxic right so after that just wash them out okay see you in a bit here i wanted to add something uh small safety measures not really safety but anyway you know you, you don't want this thing to get and stuff so I just added a small bit of tissue here and some of the tissue here and I'm using this small screw that came from the pump just about here the girlfriend will assist me and when I'm gonna be blowing the air inside here she'll just press on the screw let the air flow out to make things easier when this when this thing here is gonna be when this thing here is gonna be full I'm gonna attach 
pump to the top of it okay just to block this block the stuff in and where I'm gonna be working with the other part all, all, the, all the liquid from here is gonna be just running inside the pump but not coming out anywhere because of the, the shape it is so I'm gonna be pretty safe with it okay see you in a bit